comedian out of Basilia. Give it up for Eric Lopez, everybody. Eric Lopez. <laughs> That's a weird walk up music. <laughs> Some things I hate. Like, I hate old people. <clears throat> it's weird to hate old people because it's the only people you slowly become eventually. Like, I wish I had my other people like homophobes. Like, if you hated gay people, I wish every year you got gayer and gayer. And so one day everything you live room matched. <laughs> Just come out of the road like, what have I become? Like, you know. That's what you become. <laughs> but no, I'm single. Uh, it's, it's weird being single at 30 because you finally know what like I finally know what I want in a woman. Uh, basically, you want your best friend, a best friend that you can stick your penis in. That's what every guy wants, like a best friend. And I was talking to my gay brother. He was like, "You should come join our team." That's what being gay is. And I was like, "Man, that sounds cool and all, but dad can't hate both of us." <laughs> uh, I'm a single dad with full custody. Uh, it's, it's, she's not here. She's not here. <laughs> It's weird. Uh, so I take parenting classes so that my daughter doesn't end up here. <laughs> <laughs> the parenting classes are cool. Uh, they teach you how to build like self-esteem and confidence in your kid, but it's weird because it's fucking up my dating life because I'm doing it to these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I was living with this girl, she's like, maybe feel really good about myself. And I was like, my bad. <laughs> I ain't mean to, bitch. <laughs> like, I kind of understand what being a single mom is now, from being a single parent. And I can tell you women up front, not that hard. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to this girl, she's like, oh, you gotta read to them. And I was like, are you struggling with those books, bitch? <laughs> it's like five words on a page. <laughs> They're all the size of the easiest part of a reading test. Like, I don't know. The hardest part isn't reading to your kids or being with your kids. The hardest part is not hitting your kids. <laughs> yeah, see, they gotta get, like, when you have to watch, like, I had to watch my daughter rope Play-Doh into the carpet the other day. Oh. Like made on the like, yeah. like she's like held it. Like she, like she's the captain now. That kind of hold. Like. And it was weird. Like your heart starts to race because you're angry. It's like it starts to race like you're running up a hill or masturbating in public. Like just, <laughs> but then you censor yourself. You calm down. It's not a big issue. And then you start Xanax like an adult. So <laughs> it's called parenting. I don't know, man. Dating is weird. Like, I have to use Tinder right now because I'm, I'm usually busy. I'm a really busy dude. So I have to use Tinder. And it's weird using Tinder because I feel like every girl on Tinder has an OnlyFans. Yeah, and it's crazy. Because, like, what you want to do is connect. That's what dating is. Like, you want to connect with somebody. And it's hard to connect with somebody when I can see your boho for $4.99. <laughs> <laughs> Give me $4.99 for the price of saving a kid in Africa. <laughs> Sorry, I, I support local business is what I'm saying. <laughs> they make money, they make more money than girls that post on, uh, was it, Pornhub. They, those people don't make any money. I seen a, I seen a thing on there, that, um, you make 69 cents for every thousand views you get on Pornhub. You can make 69 cents. I watched a game bank the other day. It was four dudes, one chick, they were just fucking taxing her. They all came on her face. It has 7,700 views. That's $4.95. Oh, <laughs> you make more street performing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like, I like hood girls. They're my favorite. That's why I like staying present. Uh, <laughs> I like hood girls because they say really nice things in aggressive ways. Like I got talking to Zwanga. She's like, oh, you're so sweet. If you can keep it up, you're going to get this pussy. <laughs> On the dead homies. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I got scared. I gave the pussy in my wallet. I was like, <laughs> I didn't want no trouble. I guess I dated different people, like I dated this big white girl, and it was what I never really dated outside of my race. And I asked her, like, is there any weird things I should know about, like any weird kinks? And she was like, I tattoo every guy I hook up with, I tattoo their name on my inner thigh. And I was like, all right, let's check this out. And then I got down, I was like, yeah, there's a lot of Deshaun's on here. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Deshaun Buster? I was like, <laughs> I liked it though, man, like I really wanted to press her, so I bought, a, I bought a gas station sex pill. Because I don't have health insurance. <laughs> like, it's not that they don't work, it's that they work way too well. Like, everything got me hard. Like, everything. Like, thoughts, feelings, they rub up against things. It was weird. Like, I had to go take a piss. I had to pee really bad. And uh, I was in the bathroom and I got fucked hard. Well, lab, you know what this is. Like, <laughs> you had to rub that shit out, right? Make me go away. That was the most awkward drug test ever. <laughs> I came back with two cups, like, what do I do with this one? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. No, dating, dating is more terrible. The last girl I dated, I dated for 30 days. 
Like, it was a 30 whole day. On the 30 day, she told me she dated one of my friends. Uh, that's weird. And she told me who it was. I was like, yo, that dude has herpes. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's like, what are we going to do? And I was like, well, I'm going to keep taking my medication. So, 